Hello Peterson, really quickly just wanted to go over your website and give you some advice. Uh, a digital attack plan on how you can bring in new HVAC and plumbing customers through your own website and Google business listing. Uh, so first off I want to say it's a nice start. You know, it looks like you have a very, uh, you know, home run local company. Uh, so I like that image, it's nice. But there is a few issues with the website already uh, that are really easy to fix. The first one is this not secure. Um, so that means it's not HTTPS. It needs to have an S after the HTTP um, in order to be a secure domain. So that's something you're going to have to do through your domain provider. Maybe GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever else. Uh, that affects your SEO and some people's computers won't open it up if it doesn't have the S. Another thing you could easily fix is these phone numbers. Uh, every time you have a phone number you want to make them clickable. So you'll click the phone number and then it will automatically call. It's really really good because a lot of people are on their cell phones when they visit your website um, and so they'll make all of these clickable you'll convert more leads. I would also suggest having a form a form submission where they can fill out their information check what services they need and automatically submit it to your email. Uh, that's another great way to help conversions Aside from getting customers to convert uh, on your website, the other thing you're going to want to do is actually be able to be found on Google with your website. As of now, the only way somebody's going to be able to find this website is if they click on it from your social media. Um, but you definitely want to be able to be found everywhere else. Anytime somebody searches for plumbing or HVAC, Phoenix AZ or Scottsdale or, or Gilbert or anything else that's related to your industry, or services you want to be able to be found uh, and multiple times you know you can do the Google guaranteed you can do Google Ads uh, you're gonna to want to rank in the map pack and organically in the search results especially to start out working on the map pack is a great way to do it uh, which we can do that first let's look it up so Peterson air care and home services I'm gonna Google your business Peterson air care and home services so it looks like this is your GMB. Let's just check, make sure. 480584. Yep. All right, so first thing, it looks like you don't have the website listed on your GMB. So that's something that you could fix really quickly. Uh, and you only have two images. All right, so let me teach you a little bit about how to rank your GMB. Um, it's really, really important because a lot of people are going to be calling uh, these from these GMB. Uh, that's what it stands for, Google My Business. Um, so you already have one, now you just need to optimize it to be able to rank. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is set it up correctly. Uh, so you need to have a fully written out business description, uh, full 750 characters, and include as many of these keywords that you're trying to rank for inside of the business description. The second thing you're going to want to do is add your website, add your hours, uh, add a Q&A section, and add lots and lots of photos, as many photos as you can. And every time you upload a photo, name the photo as a keyword you're trying to rank for. So if you're trying to rank for the key phrase Phoenix AZ Plumbing, name your photo Phoenix AZ Plumbing. Um, another trick you can do is to get citations. So this is something that um, Google really looks for to figure out which businesses are relevant to people searches is they see how many profiles they have in different directories, local directories or industry relevant directories. Um, if you have the same name, address, and phone number listed in a bunch of other websites, you're going to seem like a really legit business and Google will rank you higher in the map pack. You want to be in the top three because that's where all of the search results are going to come. Right now it doesn't look like you're ranking um, very high. Another thing is you're going to want to change your service area. Uh, here it says you're located and targeting only Tempe, but on your website it says that you're targeting Phoenix, the greater Phoenix area. Uh, so as of now, if somebody's in Phoenix and they're searching for HVAC repair or plumbing services, you won't show up because you don't have Phoenix in one uh, listed as one of your service areas. All right, so that's the basics on the GMB. Um, I suggest you know fixing those things I mentioned as well as getting at least 100 to 200 citations um, that will boost your rankings a lot. And of course, you know, getting reviews. Everyone knows reviews are super important. Uh, so to continue to solicit for reviews every time you service anybody. Uh, the next thing that you want to make sure to do is to optimize your website. So how Google works is it's a bot. It goes on your website and it crawls the pages and figures out exactly what you're relevant for. 
So it counts how many times you use each type of keyword. If you use HVAC and Phoenix AZ 30 times on the website, then it's going to know that your website is about HVAC Phoenix AZ. So when somebody searches for, you know, Phoenix AZ HVAC or something related, then it's going to show you in the search results. So that's called getting indexed for the keywords. Currently, you're indexed for 37 keywords. Peterson Heating, Peterson Air, Air Care, Arizona, um, etc. Air conditioning can be easy. So you got one good keyword, but you're ranked 73. So that's on the seventh page of Google. Not super great. Um, almost no organic traffic currently. Uh, so what you're going to want to do to remedy that is you're going to need a lot more content. On the home page, you're going to want to have around 1,500 words of content with those specific types of location specific keywords inside of the content and then on each one of the service pages so say you have a page for HVAC install, HVAC uh, replacement I mean uh, repair, duct cleaning, etc. Every kind of service you do you want to have a separate page for it describing it in detail um, in order to rank for it. So for example let's look at who's ranking right now. When I look up Phoenix AZ Plumbing you got Park and er, Sons or Diamondback Plumbing. I'm going to look on this one first them back plumbing, put them on the same type of tool, and they're getting 2.1 thousand organic traffic per month. That is super valuable, especially because right now Google is charging $60 per click if you're running Google Ads. You know, it's really expensive for plumbing. Uh, but 2,000 2, organic traffic every month, that's worth a ton of money because it's converting into leads and sales every day. Uh, so these are the keywords that they're ranking for currently. Plumber Phoenix, Arizona gets searched 100 times every month. Uh, Plumber Phoenix gets searched 500 times a month. Plumber Phoenix AZ. Every time you have a different wording or a different spelling, it's a separate search query. Notice this column as well. This is the keyword difficulty. It's how hard and competitive those keywords are. It's on a scale of 0 to 100. And these are all very competitive. So for a smaller company like you, if you don't have a huge SEO budget to compete with these guys who do, you're going to want to target easier to rank for keywords such as Glendale or Gilbert or Mesa or Chandler. Notice that those other, besides Phoenix, uh, keywords are a lot easier to rank for. Prescott AZ, wow, it's only a one out of 100. You could rank for Plumber Prescott AZ really easily if you have a page. So what I would do is I would create a location page for each one of those little sub-cities and add those specific keywords into the, um, the content to, in order to rank for it. And the last piece I wanted to leave you with is something called off-page SEO, and that is building backlinks. So what a backlink is, is it's your website being listed on another uh, website. Every time that you're listed, oh look, you've got a Groupon going, nice. Um, looks like you have five, do follow the backlinks right now. Uh, but every time you're listed on another website, maybe you write an article or maybe uh, a directory listing can sometimes be backlinks. It passes power and relevancy in Google's eyes to your website. And so let's look at your competitor. They have 127 do follow backlinks. Uh, so they've written blogs, they've submitted news articles about their company. Those kind of things make your company seem more relevant and more trustworthy in Google's eyes. And so it will rank you higher for all of the keywords you're indexed for. So when I do SEO, I usually try to copy all of the backlinks that the competitors have uh, in order to outrank them. It's kind of reverse engineering what's working for them in order to rank uh, above them. So that's uh, the basics of SEO. Just to recap everything, I would first make sure you optimize your GMB listing. I can help you with that if you need. Um, uh, second, get a ton of citations, at least 100, 200 of those uh, to help you boost your rankings. And third is really, really work on getting a ton of content uh, on your website. You know, look in comparison to these other guys with lots of pages, uh, your your website is pretty bare. And then I guess if one last thing, if fourth thing is to work on off-page SEO. If you're able to do that, then you're going to be able to have a constant lead flow coming in every day um, from Google. It's going to take time, it's going to take some investment, uh, but once it's set up, it's a long-term investment and a really, really high ROI. Um, so th thanks for listening. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to get in a call with you to walk you through how you can do this yourself or if you need help, we can do it for you.